update four on Hurricane Matthew, presented by myself, Nathan Foy, and Isaac Gomez, who is also with me for this update. It's a Category 5 with 160 mile an hour winds, and it's very peculiar what's been going on in the Force 13 team in the last hour or two. Everyone's going crazy, and it's just myself and Isaac doing the forecast with Marcel's help on the screen share, Isaac. Tell us about the warnings. Yes, we have a, a, top, a hurricane warning in effect for Jamaica, Looking the entire watch. island of Jamaica. Uh, oh, in the hurricane. Hurricane watch is in effect for the uh, entire island of Jamaica. Uh, southern area of Haiti is under a tropical storm watch as well. Um, uh, Venezuela is under a tropical storm warning, which will probably go away within the next few hours as yeah, the storm is moving. Northern coast of away. Colombia, actually, oh, near Northern. Venezuela. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's fine. Perfect. Well, we'll continue on anyway. Um, it is a Category 5, and uh, interestingly, uh, the SATOPS recently, Force 13's own way of detecting the satellite intensity of the storm, said it reached Category 5 briefly, but it has weakened slightly since then, and therefore we don't really agree with the National Hurricane Center saying it's a Category 5 right now. However, we do agree that it was a Category 5 an hour ago. But that's all... Random, really, uh, to lack of a better word. It's all irrelevant, because the storm is headed towards those islands, Isaac. Yes, yes, it is. Um, after after it gets past Jamaica, it's supposed to hit Cuba as possibly a um, Category 2 or 3 uh, cyclone. And after it gets past Cuba, it'll get into the Atlantic and uh, get near the Bahamas as potentially a cat, uh, three, uh, 2 or 3 uh, hurricane as well. And... After that area, it really becomes uncertain where this thing will go. Some take it towards the east coast, some take it out to sea. Uh, we don't really know after that point as the models and everything are all over the place with this uh, system. Yeah, let's go to the satellite imagery, Marcel, if I may, uh, to take a look briefly. This is a very brief update, just showing you the basics. There's the storm. Well, make your own mind up what you think this storm has done. Most people would say... Uh, rightly or wrongly that it was Category 5. I agree. I just don't think it's a Category 5 right now, and it is on a weakening trend, and could be entering an eyewall replacement cycle, Isaac. That's what you were saying. Yeah, looking at microwave imagery, it looked like it had slight signs of a possible eyewall replacement cycle at the last uh, few frames of it, but it's still hard to tell. It could be just some bands forming, but um, yes, this thing is definitely a Category 4 right now. It was, a, like I said, a Cat 5 possibly earlier. But now it's a weekend a bit, uh, as you can see from the convection decreasing a little bit in the last few frames. We don't know how strong it will be by the time it reaches Jamaica and Cuba, though we anticipate it will still be a major hurricane. What we can tell you for certain is that it's not going to do a Patricia or a Wilma, at least not unless it moves much further west into the Western Caribbean, which is pretty much impossible. Only one model, as far as I know, and it's not even a major model, is predicting that. Um, and northwestward motion is expected very soon. Isaac stalling pretty soon as well, which will probably cause some weakening. Yes, yes, indeed. It, it, it uh, could potentially go through some upwelling, and if you don't know what that means, that basically means that the uh, hurricane enters the cooler water and it uh, basically kill, basically weaken it, weeks, weakens itself as it enters that colder temps that it uh, upwells from the ocean and it uh, could potentially weaken if it stays in the same area for a long period of time. Yeah, those along the U.S. East Coast keep watching this storm. We can't tell you with any certainty what it's going to do for the U.S. If anything, it may not do anything at all. Uh, that's my final word on the storm, Isaac. Then about you? Uh, yes, I definitely, definitely. Jamaica, Cuba, and Haiti need to pay very, very close attention to this uh, system as it moves, as it uh starts to move north in the next few coming days. Uh, definitely watch and look at the official NHG advisories and forecasts they put out and uh, really, really pay attention to this as this could be a really, really deadly situation uh, ahead. And of course, Force 13 will keep you regularly updated on the storm as well. Uh, we're providing regular updates, not only on YouTube. If you've not subscribed, please do so. That would be uh, very helpful to you as you see the new, new latest videos coming out one by one. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13, all in text. And you can also visit our website, force13.com, where you can also find our SUS page. It's our storm early warning system, which gives you the latest and, in my opinion, greatest updates 
updates on what the Storm's doing. It's what said this was a Category 5 one hour before the NHC confirmed it. And we don't believe it's Category 5 anymore um, because we believe it's weakened slightly since that hour ago. Um, around 2 a.m. UTC, which would have been uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. But regardless, it's a strong storm. It would be called a super typhoon in the West Pacific if it was there. It's a potentially super hurricane. But it's headed towards those islands, and Cuba and Jamaica should be extremely worried about the storm, and Haiti too. That's all from us for now, and we'll be back again soon. Stay tuned.